Hey guys, Chris here for Personal Survival Tactics, and today we're talking about one of our combative strikes, cupped hand blows. If I can have my assistant come on in. Basically, a cupped hand blow, we're gonna take our hand, fingers together, uh, thumb inside, and cup our hand, have a slight bend in our fingers, and we're gonna create uh, almost a little pocket in our hand. Now, what we're gonna do, just talking about hitting the pad with the cupped hand blow for a second, uh, we want to make sure that our partner's holding the pad so that his shoulder articulates forward, that it's going correctly with the pad, not going against it, so that our partner doesn't get injured when we're holding it. And what we want to do is I'm going to step in when I'm hitting the pad with the cup hand below. If I'm, if I'm doing it with the partner, I'm going to step in with my opposite uh, foot and opposite hand. So I'm using my right hand, I'm stepping with my left leg. So I'm going to step in, stay relaxed, keep your body loose. I'm stepping in, I want to get full body weight striking with my with my strike. I don't want to just hit it with my arm and shoulder. So I'm going to step inside and strike that pad driving through the pad. Okay, it's very important. And again, keep your shoulder relaxed. Uh, we're only tensing at the last moment when we're making contact with the pad. So one more time, I'm here, I'm going to step and strike. And I want to follow through. I don't want to hit this pad when we're doing our combative strikes, and again, when we're striking, we're trying to develop that correct mindset to defend ourselves, impose our will on this guy. So if I have to do it on a street, that mindset kicks in immediately. So when I step, I'm not hitting it and just doing this. There's no emotional content to that. I'm just hitting, I'm stopping, okay, let me start again. No, no, I want to drive through that path. So when I step, okay, I'm stepping in, I'm going to follow through and now I'm set up for my next strike. Now, if we get rid of the pad, we can use cup hand blow, uh, you know, defensively and offensively. Uh, defensively, of course, we're not defending, defending, defending. We're, we're initially defending and then going on to counter attack. Offensively, I'm, I'm hitting first. For whatever reason, I saw the need to do that and I decided to do that. Defensively, let's say a guy takes this hand, he comes in with a punch. No, nope, this hand. He takes, it comes in, boom, I can cup hand and strike his arm out of the way. And then, boom, follow him with a cup hand or some other type of strike, follow up strike, whatever it may be, depending on what target is available. Um, if the guy throws the opposite hand, boom, I could do the same thing, knock it out of the way with a cup hand and maybe follow through with a cup hand, back of the neck. If he's turned towards me, maybe a little bit, coming into the side of the face. Now, ideal targets for the cup hand. And just you put your hands on it. But ideal targets, I'm cupping my hand. I was hitting him in an ideal world, ideal situation. Maybe I'm working on offensively. Again, offensively now, he's arrested my movement. I can't leave. I feel beyond a reasonable doubt he's going to attack, and I decide I have to uh, attack first. When I step in, I'm going to aim for anywhere in the brachial plexus region to the side of his head, ear, his mandible. Okay, and I'm going to drive through that target. You're basically trying to take his head off the shoulders. Okay, so offensively, I'm stepping in, I'm going to drive through that, okay, and try to take his head over here. Okay, that's very important. All right, guys, it's a little bit on the cupped hand blow. This is uh, Chris from Personal Survival Tactics. Until next time, stay safe.